Greetings everyone, and welcome back to yet again another installment in the Irish series. This is episode 3 in a month, I think. Well, you folks wanted to see these items, so I'm delivering. But this is a series in which I investigate rather dubious tech products sold on various sites around the web just to see if they're any good. Most of the time, they're definitely not that good at all, but I like to buy this stuff so you don't have to, but you folks donated to see this, so... I do appreciate the support, but you all do realise that you're contributing to buying e-waste just for me to sit here and pick at it at my desk. Hey, you're all enjoying it, so let's just roll along with it. But yeah, we found this device that we're going to be taking a look at today on one of my live streams where we found a bunch of AliExpress items. You folks generously donated to see these products reviewed on the channel, so a big thank you to all the folks displayed on screen. I appreciate you all for the generosity for sending your hard-earned money to me to purchase these items, but I hope I'm gonna deliver an entertaining and an in-depth review for you all. Even though I don't think this one's gonna be too interesting, but we'll see how we go, but thank you all folks. And yeah, this device is a what if scenario. What if the iPhone 14 Pro Max was put into a feature phone? That's essentially what this thing is. And at $24, is it gonna be worth it? Let's take a look and find out. But first, timestamps will be integrated into the video as chapters and in the description below, so you can skip to wherever you need to if you don't wanna sit through and listen to me go through the listing, which there's a few pictures in the listing, but I'll just breeze over them. But if you need to use the timestamps, that's why they're there. Today, we're looking at the Mictal 14 Pro Max feature phone, four SIM card standby, 2.4 inch screen, 1100 milliamp hour battery, MP3, MP4, FM radio, senior phone. Well, I guess for a elderly people it would work but yeah currently it's sold out at the moment i'm fairly sure none of you wanted to purchase this thing anyways but i paid a total of 24 dollars australian for this with shipping tax and all that so i'll display a currency conversion chart of how much the mctel 14 pro max costs around the globe but for 24 bucks though you can't really expect too much but we'll see how we go during this review and in the listing for this there's absolutely no description whatsoever there's just pictures which we have this right here 14 pro max 2.4 inch large screen four sim four standby 1100 milliamp hour large battery mp3 mp4 fm supported and that's what the device is looking like which does look like an iPhone 14 Pro Max if it was a feature phone, which is a very oddball thing to think about. But anywho, support social apps. This phone is already equipped with applications such as Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, and Yahoo, providing more convenient choices for your use and communication. I'm sure they won't work because this thing's only 2G, but we'll try them. We'll see what happens. 2.4 inch high definition large screen resolution 240 by 320. But hang on, you've got the scratch resistant external screen, TF high penetration medium screen, and the HD screen. We'll definitely have to test to see if it's scratch resistant or not. Of course, we've got the four SIM card, four standby, support to use four SIM cards at the same time, and they're all nano SIM card slots, and you get a micro SD card slot as well. But imagine being that high in life that you've got to use four SIM cards. I'm sure you wouldn't be doing anything dodgy at all. It's just all for business. MP3 and MP4 functions combined with a clear and loud external speaker design allow you to enjoy the fun of audio and video in your leisure time. Does it have a big spurker? That's what I'm wondering. I don't think it does. And the phone dimensions and the item you'll get with the size and the weight and the box is knocking off an iPhone 14 Pro Max box. And I'm going to burst everyone's bubble, but I've already unboxed this. And unfortunately, we didn't get that box. We got a very generic McTel looking box. Also, I didn't get a green phone strap. Nor did I get a charger with this. I didn't want it anyway, so that's all good. And we also get a case with this as well. So for $24, you are getting some value for money there. But the question is, would you want to spend $24 on a cheapo phone like this when there's better options like the DJ1000 out there? Bless the DJ1000 that will always live on forever in our hearts. Time to take a look at this thing and see what it has to offer. Sadly, the box for this isn't what was shown in the advertising. Once again, same goes with the fake Z Flip thing. I'm Probably the only person in Australia that owns a McTel M14. It's got a loudspeaker, doesn't have a loudspeaker, but it's got a superior battery though, so that makes it worth it. Oh, then we have McTel Quality Innovation. M14, become our fan on Facebook, McTel. It's probably MKTel, but I'll call it McTel. And they've got a Facebook page and a website. I'll check to see if their website exists. Oh yeah, they do exist. Okay, so going to their website redirected me to some sort of a Russian website and their Facebook page shows their various good phones that they've made. In 2015, they had an Android 4.4.2 device called the Infinity with a fake leather looking back. Well, I know that I'm in for some good fun with this. We've got big battery, MP3, MP4, FM radio, vibration, MTK, MediaTek, great, camera, T-flash, and strong torch. Then the sticker shows all of the IMEIs there. Feel free to uh, look them up and see what they 
correspond with. Oh, I picked silver. Designed in Miami, USA, assembled in China. I'm sure you are, friend. Yeah, if anyone wants to tell me where the IMEI is a pinch from, feel free to let me know. It'd be hilarious if they actually correspond with an iPhone 14 Pro Max. So, here it is. The Mctel. Alright, so we've got that to the side. And then inside of the box, we get a micro USB cable, a lanyard, a free case. Make sure to put that on. And we get a user manual. Oh, wow. I need a magnifier to see this. I'm just going to display that right there. If you want to pause and if you find anything funny, feel free to let me know. Then the second page, once again, if there's anything funny, feel free to let me know because um, I can barely see what's on here. Then this one, page three. All right. Page four looks a little something like this. Hopefully you can see everything. And then page five is just McTell. Oh, then we have their warranty card. That's good. Oh, we've got page five here too. Now page six, I see pin cards. And then page seven is puck cards. Well, that's a user manual. I hope there was something funny in there. But micro USB cable, I can always use these. Yeah, I'll take that. Yoink, mine. The lanyard though is super, super cheap. We can't expect too much, but we've got the case there. And then we've also got the wonderful looking device. Actually, it doesn't look too bad because on the front, we've got Mctel 4 SIM camera, radio FM, MP3, MP4 player. And it's giving you that illusion that this is a full screen display, but it's definitely not. Around the size of the device, we have an all plastic frame. At the top, we have the big LED. Does it, oh, yep, that works. I shouldn't have shined that in my face. All right, I believe that's the same LED as the one that was on the fake Z Flip. Just got the little switch there. Micro USB at the bottom, microphone just there as well. On the back, we've got our rear cameras. Actually looks very Unihertz Luna like not iPhone. Like, do you want to play a game of guess the real cameras? Probably that one right there. We've actually got an LED flash right there. So I'll be able to take some night shots with this. The back is a nice plastic with their logo there. But if I just slide this out, there it is. Looking very familiar, isn't it? It was made in July of this year. Uh, it is the model M14, designed in Miami, USA, assembled in China. Since this is 2G, I'm not gonna put a SIM card into this, but I'll put my micro SD card in. I'll put the back cover on. Here it is. Oh, wow. Kind of looks appealing, kind of. We've got a fake notch at the top, but the entire keypad looks like it's capacitive, but it's not. It all presses down. Oh yeah, do you remember in the listing it said scratch resistant external screen? Well, let me just get my razor blade and just go, wee. It's plastic. That's false advertising. For $24, if it came with glass, I'd be pleasantly surprised. They needed some way to market this thing. All right, without further ado, let's power this thing on and see if it's a welcome. No, it's a McTel. You're not a bop. Well, that sounded horrific. Oh, they even have their own branded wallpaper, Mctel Quality Innovation. That was their slogan. How bright are the keypad lights? Uh, they're not too bright. They'll do though. The LED is definitely a bright one. I'll go test this outside and see how bright that is. Okay, it's super windy outside, but let's test the LED torch on the M14 thing. Hey, there you go. Yeah, it's the exact same LED that was in the Z Flip. Exact same hardware, I'd say, inside of this. That's my gut instinct anyways, but for $24, you get a good torch and 10 meters away from the lemon tree, you can see it. I better not shine it around or it might cause an airplane to crash. So yeah, that's actually not too bad. If you want to stare into the sun, yep, there is the halo. Uh, okay, I just blinded myself doing that. Yeah, reasonable. Nothing will beat the DJ 1000 though. The screen doesn't look too bad though. That's quite a sharp display. It looks better than this thing. If I stick it into the case though, there we go. Now it's durable. I mean, that case isn't too bad. If you did drop this, it's got the bumpers on the side, so it's altogether not too bad for the price anyways. And also this thing's gonna get fingerprints all over it. So I'm gonna have to continuously clean this during the review because already it just gathers your fingerprints just there. We've got phone book, messages, call history, settings, camera, multimedia, audio player, FM radio, image viewer, tools, video recorder, fun with an Xbox 360 controller. Oh, we have Java, profiles, sound recorder, Oh God, the buttons are terrible. Services, Twitter, Facebook, Yahoo, WhatsApp, file manager, and I just open messages by accident because it's just a completely flat piece there. There's no way to feel where buttons are. You just kind of have to guess. STK, calculator, and calendar. We've got quite a few things to actually test on this. Phone dial looks normal. Phone book, basic. Messages, 
basic. Look at the display though. It is quite sharp for the price anyways. Call history, nothing there. I guess we'll go into settings though. Profiles, oh no. I warn you all now, prepare yourselves for ringtones. So ring one. Oh, generic media tech stuff. Ooh. The earpiece is also the speaker. Yep. All the sad ringtones, okay. Do, 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 do. What am I doing with my life reviewing these cheapo things? Why do all the welcome devices sound terrible? What? Why do I subject myself to torment? Oh, they all sound horrific? That's okay. Oh, the keypad's silent. Let's change it to click. Can you even hear it? It is making noise, but just... <laughs> this is really difficult to manage, by the way. Phone settings, nothing there. Oh, we've got dedicated keys. Just shortcuts, okay. Display, oh, wallpapers. Please have more than one. Okay, so we've got Mctel and Mctel. Screen auto lock, I'm gonna change that to uh, five minutes. Show date and time, miscellaneous settings, LCD backlight, it's probably on the brightest. Yeah, it is, it's on the brightest. That's why it looks kind of decent. Call settings, do we have magic voice here? Yeah, magic voice is here as well, but once again, that won't work because 2G only, unfortunately. Phone security, phone lock and change password, we'll leave that. Flight mode, power saving, restore settings, and that's it within settings. Let's go to the camera. There we go. High quality for 24 bucks. At least it has a camera. Image settings, we've got 240 by 320. Well, we know what the photos are gonna look like on this. So I'll just save that. And video recorder looks a little something like that. I don't have high hopes for this, but I'll change the video quality to high so I get the most optimal experience out of this. Let me go take some photos and videos with this. Enjoy what you're about to see. And I'm doing the camera test for the Mctel. And if I put the Mctel in front of the Froggos, I can't fit them all in frame, which means that the camera hardware, at least, is the same as on the Z Flip 4 clone. So I have to kind of stand over here to get them all in frame. There we go. Testing video recording on the Mctel 14 Pro. <laughs> wow, um, this is impressive. I think ghost hunting or Bigfoot encounters or alien sightings for that matter could be uh, achieved on this camera. No problems whatsoever. This is nothing too spectacular. 320 by 240 most likely. And if I hold it super still, it kind of looks good, but otherwise, if I start moving around, everything just looks like it's a ghost. Yeah, I mean, for the price of this thing, I can't really uh, say too much with its budget offering and quad SIM cards and iPhone-looking design. Uh, it's, a, it's a good camera. <laughs> can't think of anything to say, man. Uh, it would just, just go along with it. Ghost powers? Dead lemon? Where is it? There it is. Uh, many dead lemons, actually. I don't know if some animal is eating them or if they're just rotting by themselves, but uh, yeah, that's looking a little uh, iffy. And you, and Zenny, who's getting more rusted each day, looking a little something like that. 
Do you reckon this is less than the Z Flip 4 clone? I reckon it's like three frames a second. Can I zoom in though? I can zoom in. It's not the same hardware. It's better. Look at that. Digital zoom. Wow. I can smell the pixels. I can taste the pixels. How does the sky look though? Wow. That doesn't look too bad. Okay. That's probably the best you, you'll see out of this camera to be honest. But uh, yeah, look. It's a cheapy device with a cheap camera. It works. It does the job, I guess. Um, I think you've seen enough. You've seen enough? Yeah, cool. Hi there. You've just seen the photos and videos that I took with the McTel M14, and they look a little something like this. Um, they're good. Good quality. But if we compare them with the Z Flip clone thing, mind you, not the real deal, uh, then they look a little something like this. And to be honest, it's the same picture. They're not the same picture, trust me, they're from different devices, but yeah, they look a little something like that. The camera quality for this $24 device is not looking good, as we expected. But video quality looks a little something like this, and if we take that in, that's, uh, that's five frames a second there, by the way. I have to say, that's some really, really good quality. Alright, I've got to be serious, and it's not that good quality, but considering that the Z Flip clone was, uh, what, $40 more than this thing, and it's the same camera at the end of the day. Can't really say too much else, to be honest. And also, uh, I'm filming this last minute, and I forgot to go into the image viewer um, and play the actual videos that are recorded with the phone on the device. Don't worry. Um, just ignore that. It's not in the video. It's here now. I can do cool stuff with this. This screen screen was like five bucks off eBay. I bought it like six years ago. Never used it. Thought I'd use it now. Probably doesn't even work, but... Yeah? Moving on, we've got Multimedia, which just has video player. Do we have any default stuff? No, we have all the videos that I have on my memory card. Does it play the 4K video? No, it doesn't. Audio player. Here is BFG Division. I guess we should test the speaker quality. It doesn't sound that impressive, considering it's the earpiece as well, but let's give it a shot. That's as loud as it gets. That's it. Okay, I reckon this will be less than 90. That is the weakest speaker I've ever seen. It's pathetic. That's quite sad. But really, I shouldn't complain. With the price of this device, I shouldn't complain at all. But then again, realizing that I've picked up better phones from eWaste for $10 is really sinking in. Yeah, that's the speaker quality. So when I tear this down, I'll get a better look at uh, the speaker. It's gonna be just a tiny little one in there. Okay, FM radio, same interface as the Z Flip thing. Let's see what's on Australian radio on a Wednesday night. Did I just hear a fire truck on LSD? Pretty sure I did. Okay. Um, did you say eat the poo? Eat the poo poo. You can't do any other features. That's basically um, as far as you can do. You can't record the FM radio or anything. At least you can listen to the FM radio on this though. I mean, you gotta look at the positives. Some flagships don't even have FM radio, so. Tools, we've got alarm, Bluetooth. Oh, Bluetooth, what's the name of it? Power on Bluetooth first, yes. I'll pair this to my Fold 2 just to see if I can do any other functions, but I don't think I'll be able to. The name is M14, which that's what it said. And I've connected it to my Fold 2 and I can't use it for anything else. Plus I really wouldn't want to play Bluetooth audio with this speaker. So let's move on. World clock, not even, well actually you're kind of close, but all right. Stopwatch, looks a little something like a stopwatch. Very basic, nothing to see here. Incoming call LED. Oh, that means the LED flash will flash when you have an incoming call, but I can't test phone calls, so that's useless. Video recorder, we've already taken a look at. Fun, what are we going fun? Please let Magic Sushi be here, please let, no. Wait, why am I wanting Magic Sushi to be on here? Oh, geez, it's on here. Oh, well, let's bump the volume up then and hear this game in all of its wonderful glory. Magic Sushi. Isn't there supposed to be the really horrific sounds in the background? Oh, this isn't the version of Magic Sushi we want. Also, those sushis look like the um, expensive sushis in Pokemon Stadium with uh, liquor tongues. Actually, they all do. 
Looks like I failed that. Yeah, the audio was on. That's fun. But let's move on to Java. Oh, Really? Why? Does it actually have to have a 2G connection to open up Java? I'm going to try and install a Java game when we get to File Manager. Profiles we've already taken a look at. Sound Recorder, well, you've already heard the microphone quality with the video test. Services is internet service, which I can't do anything there. Twitter, not available. Facebook is not available. Yahoo is also not available. And WhatsApp is also not available. File Manager, okay. What's on the phone storage? Power off index, INI file. Wonder if it's just the uh, little brackets. Yeah, so far this thing's not really winning me over. I just can't get through this keypad, it's horrific. Come on, at least let me install a Java game. Nope, it won't let me. Nope, STK, SIM toolkit, calculator, standard calculator, calendar, that's it, we're done. That is really unfortunate that Java won't work. And there's absolutely no way that I'd be able to test it as well. I can't really do anything else with this. We have an LED. We have a good screen. The camera quality is something that we shouldn't talk about. But for $24, delivered from AliExpress, it makes for a good torch. That's worth it right there. Why did they think it was a good idea to make a feature phone look like an iPhone 14 Pro Max and hopefully it'll sell millions? Just imagine that a feature phone with three cameras and LiDAR at the back as well. That could have been something interesting, but no, unfortunately, this is just a very cheapo device at the end of the day. And there's just not many features with it. So I guess we just tear it down and see what we can... ...do with this. How does one take this apart then? I've taken all the screws out, so it should just pop open, maybe? Maybe the back comes off. There we go. Don't mind me. Aha. Uh -huh. We're in. A few more screws to take out, and then we'll get access to the innards of this. There's a 1200 milliamp hour battery right there. Didn't it advertise 1100 milliamp hours? It did. We got an extra 100 milliamp hours. Nice. I'll just pop the camera lens off to reveal how wireless cameras just in there I'll put that just with the rest of them and there's our tiny little camera right there is there any other screws holding this down then how the fuck does this open then all right then okay so taking the bottom piece off oh yep that's looking pretty familiar and then the hole thing just comes out like that. So yeah, that's how the keyboard works. It's brighter than the Z Flip. You just have those keys that have little domes on them that communicate with there, and that's how that works. But that's the most heaviest part of the unit right there. Sorry, pause the video, hold up a second. Did you know the build of this phone is actually metal for the most part? That's why it weighed so much, which means it has better build quality than the Z Flip 4 clone thing that I looked at recently. Just thought I'd let you know, because I didn't mention it anywhere else. Then we just have this, and the speaker is right there. Alright, and popping back the LCD reveals we have some tape, and the big spurker just there, which sounded horrific. Not certified to be a big spurker. Um, the camera lens is also stuck to me too, by the way. And looking at the motherboard, it's slightly different than the one in the Z Flip. Slightly. Not by much, though. Let's go ahead and see what battery is in this. No, no, what? No, what is this? Okay, we got the batteries. Actually, why did I pop the battery out? I don't need to do that. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and take the shielding off and we'll see if it's an MT6261DA, most likely. <laughs> that shielding was really difficult to take off. I have a feeling I've killed this. What have we got inside of here? Of course, it's the MediaTek MT6261DA processor. But that layout's very similar to the Z Flip clone, even with that little thing there and the microphone there. So nothing's really changed. It's the same device, unfortunately, at the end of the day. But at least I've had a look at it because people were curious to see what this thing can do. And the answer is not a lot. I killed it. Yeah, I killed it. Balls. <laughs> Fuck sake. It works. It works. It works. It works. It's alive. It's alive. All right, well, it's all back together for the most part. Just clip that back on there. Uh, don't mind the extra adhesive. There we go. So I'll display all of these specifications. Uh, don't worry about the shielding. I'll display all of these specifications to the side of the device so you can all understand what's inside of the Mechtel M14 not 
Pro Max at all. Very standard generic thing, but you folks wanted to see it and I've delivered a review on this thing. There's not much else I can really say about this one, to be fairly honest. It is just a really cheap feature phone that doesn't offer too much, but I wouldn't have had a look at this product on this channel if it wasn't for you generous folks. So thank you all so much to folks displayed on screen for donating on that live stream to see this thing reviewed on the channel. I don't know why my phone just made a weird noise, but all right. I really do appreciate the generosity. Spending your hard earned money to see these cheapo things reviewed on the channel, but you're all amazing, so thank you so much for that. And if you've made it to the end of the video without using timestamps, thank you so much for sticking around and watching this pretty boring review. I expected there to be something kind of cool with this, but unfortunately it's just not. It's just essentially this in that, but this was more unique. But yeah, if you had to use the timestamps to skip through the video, that's completely understandable. That is why they are there for you. I hope you've all enjoyed. Let me know what you think of this down in the comments below. And if you've owned a Mctel device before, not gonna lie, I feel like Mac is right now. Uh, let me know if you've owned one of these things before. But anyways, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And as always, please take care, stay safe, and be good people. I'll see you all in the next video where I'll be looking at probably more cheapo stuff. It doesn't change, does it? It's just always cheapo stuff. We've got to have some variety here and there, don't we? Don't worry, I've got some ideas. But until the next one, please take care, and I'll see you all then. I always wondered in, you know, Harry Potter and stuff like that, right? How did they do the invisibility cloak shit? Did they literally just do this? Oh, fuck. Ugh. Shit. Fuck. Ugh. I think it would have looked something like that, like, you know, they, they would have special effects, you know.